I'm Kobe Jones and uh, welcome to Kobe's Corner. Today I have LA Galaxy midfielder Marcelo Sarvis with me. Um, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. I was waiting this invitation for three years. <laughs> if, if it was just up to me, I would have done it, you know, within the first week. No, yeah, thank you. Trust me. Um, for those of the people out there that don't know, you're Brazilian, but you were playing in Costa Rica at the time. But that, that's just not where your career was the whole time. You were in Brazil. You were overseas in Europe, correct? Yes. I, I, I've been in Sweden for almost five years after Sweden, Poland for almost two years and then Costa Rica with Ella Hulens before come here. Which was your favorite club? I'm not going to put the Galaxy in there, of course. <laughs> well, I played in, 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 in Europe and uh, it maybe it was my way. I lose a little bit of passion for, for the game uh, because I didn't have that feeling from the fans and uh, from, you know, the feeling that I grow up in Brazil, yeah. especially coming from Corinthians, that's a team that it's, they, they play with, they, this is traditional, heart, uh, heart and uh, the passion of the game. So uh, when I left uh, uh, Europe, I went to Costa Rica. That was the biggest surprise and uh, I think the, the best that could happen in my career. This came back, you know, from the fans, from the club. I, I had a year there, uh, two championships, and uh, I ended up with a like, captain of the team. And uh, my heart, it's very much in that way, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and through them, I think they opened a big, big door mm -hmm. for me in, in, in Galaxy. When, when the call came or someone talked to you when you were in a, at Alaluense and the, you heard that the LA Galaxy was interested in you. Uh, what was your reaction there? I, I knew that uh, the, and, uh, when I came, the, the league was much more uh, established. And of course, in, in that time you had Beckham, mm -hmm. Keane, Donovan, and uh, I just heard so many things, project, the, that the league's growing up, it's still growing up. So, uh, of course, it's hard to, to say, even if your heart is in Costa Rica, it's hard to say no and uh, stay there. It's, you can fight with that, you know, you have family, you have future. Um, so, of course, was, I was very happy to, 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 to know about the interest of, of uh, Galaxy. Um, I've, I've heard it said, and you've said that your father was a big influence. When I left Brazil, mm -hmm. as a professional player, he never saw me playing live. Last, last month in, in June, July, he was here and uh, he could see the first game. Was it the 4th of July game? Yes. Yeah, with yeah. all the fireworks. And, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he, uh, he was like a child yeah. here, you know, a huge experience for him and uh, myself. I was so happy to see him. And how did the Galaxy do on that game? 2-2 two, two against, uh, I think, Portland. Okay. Yeah, I scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah go yeah, for you know, it. You're forgetting something. Oh, you know? yeah. No, no. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get at, you know. Yeah. So the first time your dad comes to see you play professionally, you score. I score. And I never score. Yeah. No. <laughs> I never hit the goal. No, yeah, it was, I think some things God prepare and make yes. it even, even more special, you know. And uh, even uh, before he left the Donovan, uh, make fun with him and say you can't you can't live because Marcel is playing good and uh, uh, speaking of of Donovan how did just very quickly I don't want to go too much in depth with it but how, how does his uh, uh, re announcing his retirement at this point in the season you think affect yourself and the team in general so many people just uh, don't know when to retire or retire in one way that you, you can't you can you, you, uh, you don't know what to do mm -hmm. with our life and he was he's, he's very sure what he want and and uh, he gonna have his life and he gonna be happy without soccer and doing other things that 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 he miss i've i've heard that uh you know and and you probably get this all the time but one of your good friends is kaka what do you think of the situation of him coming into 
the league into MLS. I think he, it's great to have him, in a, especially in Orlando. Orlando is, I think, the biggest Brazilian community in, uh, in America. And uh, I'm sure that he's going to keep the level and uh, the name of MLS and put the MLS uh, more and more high. So, so you're not going to take it easy on him at all? No, you? no. Inside <laughs> the field, no chance. No chance. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh, hello. hello. I think you needed some tweets, so I'm here to oh. deliver them. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm the new DP, by the way. Uh, oh, okay. you see, we yeah. just, just signed on <laughs> Kelly Tennant. You know, she's a new DP. Oh, welcome to Kobe's Corner. Thanks so much. Oh, I love this. Lovely. You're That's doing fabulous. great. Oh, you look fabulous. Thank I like you. I like the jersey on you. Thanks. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Okay, well, have fun. Thank, thank you. Welcome. All right, well, we got... A few questions from uh, the Twitter verse. The first question is from at MSP Silva. Um, have you ever thought about being a coach in the future? Yes, I think this is this is one of the 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 ways that that uh, a soccer player uh, mind goes after uh, you announce your retirement. You know, I I want to stay. In, Soccer. This next one uh, is from at Amaziga84. Uh, is it a tougher game in Brazil or in MLS? Uh, I think here the, the game it's much more uh, uh, faster. Uh, it's win and lose ball all the time. Uh, you don't have that time to breathe. You play there in Brazil, you know how it is, you know. Mm -hmm. There in Brazil, until the last third of the field, it's it's more, especially in the midfield, you have more time with ball and uh, uh, you can have two, uh, three, four thirds in the ball without press. Here it's all the time, somebody behind you. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that it's hard to play here than in Brazil. Okay. And the last questions from at Cheeky Justice. Uh, very simple one for you. What are your favorite Brazilian restaurants in LA? I, I, I think it's a Redondo. It's called Panelas. It's it's a it's home 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 f like homemade home cooking like yeah. traditional home Tra cooking. traditional called Panelas. Okay. Panelas Brazil. I, I I'm definitely gonna try it out. I'll check it out for yeah. sure. And I'm sure a lot of people out there are gonna check yeah. it out. Go Saturday. Saturday and try the the feijoada. On Saturday. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Hey, Marcelo, thank you for coming to Kobe's Corner. I thank you, Kobe. Thank for invitation and. Uh, Hope uh, we keep doing the good job here in Galaxy. Yeah, I don't want to see a bad job. So, no. Okay. <laughs>